Hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, Cole Dell, a guy here, just trying to help out some guys on drafting. I've been seeing in the league a lot of dudes trading away draft picks and uh, not going after those guys and trying to get instant value. So I'm going to show you a little trick here that I think probably half the league knows, half doesn't know. Maybe everyone knows, I just think they don't. But uh, there's some key features in Madden that will actually show you where you should draft and how you should draft if you have your scheme set up. So I just kind of want to go through some of that and show you guys. How I use Madden, you can't, it's not foolproof, you still got to do scouting, you still got to make decisions, but it, it is a helpful feature to help you realize, should I go for the trade, should I go for free agent, and then I'll show you a little bonus feature that it shows in the draft area as well, so hope you guys enjoy, thanks. Okay guys, so here I just kind of got a random league set up with the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, so it's week 17, I'm going to go check, check on my team. Uh, I've scouted players throughout the season just to kind of see who's where. Uh, normally, what I always want to see those top three picks. And then one of the key features is if you go over here to my team, first of all, let's talk about coaches. So schemes are very important in this video. So what I'm going to show you only relates to your scheme. So you got to make sure your scheme is set up correctly and how you want. So like in this instance, I'm looking for a West Coast quarterback and a balanced halfback. If I wanted a scrambling quarterback, this isn't going to help me find that scrambling quarterback. And if everybody in the league is looking for the same quarterback, say a power arm quarterback, the power arm quarterback is going to go fast in the draft or free agency. And then uh, someone's going to get a West Coast or mobile quarterback great in the second, third round. Um, but one of the key features, I don't know if you guys use it in my team, but team needs. And during the season, I use it as well to tell me whether I should get a free agent or, or trade. If you go here, you see my team is kind of whacked out because I just did a random sim of a season to show you guys this. But uh, let's look at quarterbacks. Do quarterbacks first. But I mean, it shows you kind of how you are if you're B, C, what you need based on your scheme. But I'm a B right now, not too bad. So let's just check on my quarterbacks. You can also see your defense by hitting B. But so let's go into the quarterbacks here and see how it looks. But you can see you need a B, C. It kind of rakes you. And it's all mad. So you can see it tells me portals is he fits my scheme because he shows up uh, apparently my other quarterback doesn't because he doesn't show up but also on the right if you look at showing me whether I should get a trade for a guy or a free agent and same thing for halfback you can see it shows me I should trade there's an 80 free agent out there all the way down at Moreno so I, I should trade or I can go get Moreno if I feel like he's good enough you can see kind of how he stacks in the rankings with the other players that are available for trade. Generally, it's looking at people's backups to tell you if they're tradable or not. That doesn't mean in a 32-man league somebody's going to actually trade them to you, but it, it lets you know who's out there that fits your scheme, um, which is kind of nice. It's really important on the free agents. So you can see here looking at like offensive linemen. You can see right guard, trade, free agent. So there's free agents available. You can do this for almost basically every position to kind of see how you see, and you notice on your players, if you got more than one player that fits your scheme, they'll show up on the left. If you only got one player that fits your scheme, they're going to show up. Like my backup quarterback here is not showing up because he doesn't fit my scheme, uh, which may be on purpose because I like to run some kind of different offense when he's in. Uh, but overall high level, that's one place you really want to go, and it's, it's based on these schemes. Uh, and when you change it, it doesn't automatically update. So you got to advance a week before it recognizes you change your scheme on the scouting area when you go into team needs. So it's not going to show you all the new quarterbacks that you need just because you changed it. So you can't go into the draft and or free agent week and say change your quarterback to what you need or your running back to what you think you need and see who's out there and write them all down. It, it won't let you do that because you can only look at it that week as your end. And so I think I'm going to advance it forward here in a minute to show you guys what happens when you advance it past week 17 so I'm going to go on to the wild card round which in the wild card round you can't do anything so I'm really again not sure how many people use the team needs I'm back in the team needs setting in here and I've advanced it uh, to a little further this is right before re-signing of free agents after the Super Bowl so this is really good you can go look and see what free agents fit your scheme before you go put all these outrageous bids on there. So, so signing free agents. 
just advancing ahead. You can see a signing for the agents your team needs. You can go, I'm going to check my quarterbacks. Now it's going to show me all. I can get a trade for McCarron or all these Kirk Cousins. These fit my scheme. That I sh These should be fairly good players. You can kind of see the ratings. It's interesting how Bradford's a 78. Quarterback above him is a 74, and it says the 74 fits me better than the 78. Uh, I'm not certain if that's intangibles or what that does that, but I, fair, I found it to be highly uh, accurate when it does that. And then again, it's all based on your schemes that you set up. So like here, I'm looking at my left end, free agent, free agent, telling me who out there fits my scheme and who who's better than others. Notice it's not just overalls. So there's an 82 on that list. It's higher than some 87s. So if you're not using this uh, team needs, I think you really should be. Uh, going to make the league even more competitive. But if everybody's using the same schemes, like say everybody's got the same playbook, it's going to make this not quite as good because everybody's going to be getting the same guys. There's going to be a lot of good guys left over. So if, if everybody's running the Houston Texans offensive scheme, there's going to be a lot of guys that don't fit the Houston Texans offensive scheme that are good out there. So I've advanced it to the draft. So it's stage three. So it's the last stage where you can see the combine with the actual uh, stats. So I know you're thinking, well, team needs are good for free agents and trading, but what about my draft team? And the good news is... It's a powerful tool in a draft. I've used it for the last three Maddens. I don't know how many of you guys have. Hopefully everybody has been kind of wanting to put this video out, but I didn't know how it would go over, if it would be cheesy or if it would be like, yeah, wow, this really helps. Um, I still go through and scout all my guys because I want to see what it is. And I want to, if I'm coming down to two quarterbacks, sometimes I'll go off the scouting report, what it says. And then I'll even weigh into the factor here in a minute when I show you the team needs. It's going to put those two quarterbacks. So Frank and Mason there. It's saying Frank's better. But when we go over here to my uh, team needs again, it's going to be totally different now because all the free agents are gone. But if there was a free agent better, it would show you. So here it's saying quarterbacks, McCarron's the best. These Harper and Mason fall down. So it's telling me Harper's better. And it's telling me these are the three quarterbacks that fit my scheme right now, four quarterbacks. But Garoppolo's better in free agency. So I should I should have signed Garoppolo. I'd have been better off than getting any of these rookie quarterbacks in my scheme. Generally in a 32-man league, you're not going to see this. When you get to the draft, the better free agents are gone. <laughs> Your draft players are going to be the best ones available, generally. Let's see if I can find a position where the drafting is all uh, rookies instead of free agents. So here... Looking at center, free agents. There's a ton of free agents out there, so I should stay away. Unless I want to go to the sixth round, fifth round. And you notice in these fifth, fifth and sixth round guys, you'll see some teams drafting guys in the second round, first round. I believe they're doing that because it fits their team need and they know it. Um, so you see some guys. So here looking at this, uh, wide receivers. There's a lot of free agents out there. Let's try cornerbacks. I think cornerbacks is one that would be good to look at. Let's see cornerbacks. So wow, look at this. I've got one guy on my team that fits my, my scheme. And then all these rookies. This is a loaded draft of cornerbacks is what it's telling me. So, and it's in order too. Like, see, it's saying the one pick nine is better than the guy that supposedly picked seven. So you got to take into that into consideration and factor it all in. So really hope you guys are using team needs. It's going to be interesting to see what it does to our draft. The guys that are trading away picks shouldn't trade them away because there's guys out there and Madden makes it pretty easy to find the guys like seventh round guys that are going to be impactful just remember this only works when you do it during the week so good luck guys